Hey, what's going on everybody? Rolo, Dunks Your Eyes, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome. Consider liking and subscribing if you haven't. And in today's video, I got a special one for you guys. We got a pickup haul. I got, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a couple article pieces to my right hand side right over here. But later on towards this video, a special, something that I've always wanted completed for a very long time. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so most of these picks I got are actually from Sneaker Con that happened a while back, which I'll show you some footage right over here. Also moving for the homies, Dream Team SF, AKA Don, what up my guy, really appreciate it. Had a really good time right over there. First pickup we got is a Nike SB. This is in the purple box, one of the newer ones. This released earlier this year. This is the San Francisco Giants and being from the Bay Area, this one was a little bit closer to my heart. I grew up basically a San Francisco Giants fan. So having this shoe basically on a Nike Dunk was really cool to see. And on the soles, you do have that black sole and in the middle does have that orange color. And then towards the heel section, here on the sole does have like that bubble gum if, if you do step on it which is a really cool addition if you ask me but besides that the uppers do have a mesh on the side panels the ankle area and on the toe box area with a suede upper and then when you look closer towards the swoosh it does have like that double swoosh where it's orange on the outline area and then you have the black swoosh on the inner area and then that black and orange nike sb logo on the tongue it also did come with black and orange laces but besides that this being a san francisco giant sneaker i pretty much had to get it you know showing the love to the city in general but yeah these are pretty much the san francisco giants nike sb next up we got the black and aqua or tiffany colored nike sb box that you do see here these are the black tie-dyed versions of the nike dunk low sb ray guns you do see it here on the side panels and at the back and you do have the alien on the back part right over here but this is the black version these released in 2019 now this one i got a pretty solid deal i gotta give a shout out to bank of hype out here in the bay area and then this one one pop up this was actually the third one so this one is actually a nike sb as well but this was the other one which also was a size nine this was the white tie-dyed version that you do see here now again on the side panels does have that tie dyed along with the back section that you do see here but you guys let me know which one do you guys prefer do you guys prefer the black pair or the white pair either or they're pretty solid in general but looking at these two it's kind of hard to pick because i do like the black one along with the white one they're both equally just as good but like i said you guys let me know down below in the comment section which one do you prefer if you prefer the black pair or the white pair in the tie-dye version either or there's no right or wrong answers i do just want to hear your thoughts next up we got an air jordan pickup right here this is the air jordan 3. now if you guys have been around the channel for quite some time my all-time favorite air jordan sneaker if you were to ask me my favorite one of all time is none other than the black cement threes or the threes in general followed by the jordan ones in chicago's but these are the black cement threes this one is actually my third pair i actually got it at sneaker con again shout out to luke kane's closet i appreciate you my boy but yeah the black cement threes i had to get another one because if you guys watch the korea vlog my black cement three that i usually wear on a daily occasion was actually like ripping tearing apart on the ankle sock liner on this back bar here by the back tab and i was like dang i need a new pair in general so when i saw these at sneaker con i was like all right cool let's see what i can get them at we made a deal and pretty much here they are the black cement threes the 2018 version and i couldn't tell you how many times i rocked that pair in general so i'm pretty happy to replace that with this one i do have a ds pair size nine so if anybody does have another size nine or nine and a half that is either worn clean or dead sock or just in general hit your boy up i wouldn't mind making a deal and getting another one but these are the black cement threes love this sneaker a lot the colorway is great they feel great on my foot and just in general my all-time favorite air jordan 3 the black cement 3. it also came with the original everything and i think this one is from japan because it does come with this tag here that you do see here in the japanese text but shout out again to luke case closet i really appreciate it thank you again for the black cement threes again my all-time favorite all right and moving right along we have a nike pickup here this is one of the older nike box in the early 2000s specifically in 2005 now i got this one at sneaker con on day one and the next following day i ended up rocking it because i was pretty excited this is the collaboration that undefeated did back in 2005 this is the no liner or nl nike dunk highs this one does have a very quality material very luxurious on the 
sock liner ankle area that you do see here very thin kind of like a designer shoe and this one you know it doesn't have no padding or anything in general hence the no liner but overall the colorway is sick now i know the air force one that undefeated did recently is an inspiration that they did with this one but i prefer the nike dunks overall i just think it looks a lot better in my opinion but you guys let me know if you guys prefer the air force one that drop or the nike dunk that released back in 2005 again the colors are very vibrant on this sneaker as well you do have like that magenta the dark violet purple on the back section and then the brown colors on the uppers and that neon like bluish that you do see here on the toe box and it does stand out with that green laces this one did again come with the green laces as well as the laces still rolled up in the extra bag that you do see here where it says these shoes were inspected by qa12 with the triangle but overall i'm pretty excited to always have something a little bit older here so these are the 2005 nike dunk the nls of no liner nike dunk highs you guys see it here you already know it is not only one but two right here now these are the smaller sizes i ended up getting this one for monica and she ended up hitting on the undefeated website so she got two of her sizes size five and a half she's still deciding if she wants to keep or sell this pair right over here but my size nine i did end up getting as well but these are the lost and found i recently did a review in comparison with the 85 original pair the 94 95 pair the 2013 and the 2015 pair all in comparison with the 2022 lost and found chicago air jordan one so if you guys haven't seen that video in general i'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description and make sure to support your boy by going ahead and watching that because i really do appreciate it a lot but yeah here they are the lost and found air jordan ones and again in my opinion is the probably the top sneaker of the year as of 2022 and moving right along you guys see it here this is none other than the nike dunk low sb in the newer box the green blue red and yellow sort of like the ebay color one but it is none other than the nike dunk low the huff san francisco edition one these are actually a size five and a half i'm still looking for a size nine or nine and a half in both colorways i do want to customize it because i know both do have that tight end effect now there's one thing i did want to mention how the nike dunk sb on the regular high version that released back in 2004 does have a tight end on the ankle area i wish that this one had it in general along with a stuffed tongue and the sb laces but besides that i can't complain it's a pretty solid sneaker in general you can pretty much rock it with whatever you want i do need the new york along with the san francisco pair i do again want two pairs in general so i can have one that's like a regular version just by itself and one where i can customize it where you can see the tie-dye besides the blind bag that you do see here where it's just pretty random and the skyline itself it did remind me that i had to find this specific item itself this was an original huff bag from on sutter street that benny gold did a collaboration with with the huffquake so it does say thanks rollo b gold 06 with the skyline itself and the reason why i bring that one up is because benny gold was the one that did the design for the huff skyline that you do see here back on these nike dunk low sbs on the huffs but this one took me a while to find i'm pretty happy i was able to find this one in general it took me a while but here it is again this is a cool shoe to have still looking for my size and then nine nine and a half one day i'm pretty sure i'll go ahead and get it just because it's san francisco the bay area in general but this is the bag that i have to find now before we get into this right here which is i'm really excited about i did want to go ahead and showcase some clothing items a big shout out goes to grails sf i'll put their link down below in the description as well but this was their anniversary tee this is the world champs grails x adapt collaboration it does say 2022 gold blooded for the six year anniversary super sick tee with the font and the colors in general along with this one right here this is the brown base hoodie that you see here now fill in the quality on this hoodie very soft very nice bow on the inside with that fleece material and on the sleeve on the left hand side it does have that mark where it says grails sf and on the front in the black color it does say grails sf as well last but not least we got a bape tee here this is the october's very own or ovo drake x babe collaboration that you do see here it does have that american express credit card inspiration that you do see here with the babe head and the ovo logo it says ape shall never kill on the front and on the back it's a lot larger with the bigger sign that you do see here on the back and it says meet the october's very own and a bathing ape card 800 ovo babe that you do see here super sick again a shout out goes to grails sf so i'll go ahead and put their stuff down below link in the description as well and last but not least we got this pickup right here 
here. This is something that's really special to me. This is something that I've always wanted to complete for a very, very long time. I gotta give a shout out to my homie, Clint. He knows who he is. I really appreciate it a lot, my guy. Thank you so much for helping your boy out and finally completing something that I've always wanted to do for such a long time. It's been a long time coming. And if you guys have been around the channel for quite some time, you guys know exactly what this is. But before I go in and open this one up and show you guys what's in here, I gotta go in and bring out a couple shoes for this one. So my very first Nike SB was none other than these right here. These are the Mahogany Hemp that released in 2004. This was my very first Nike SB in the Hemp, and this is pretty much close to my heart. Then you do have the second pair, which is called the Cascade Blue or the Cascades. Again, very similar to the Mahogany, except it does have that baby blue or that Cascade Blue that you do see here. And then you have the green pair here. These are also called the Bonsai that you do see here. Again, similar to the Mahogany's and the Cascade Blue, it has that green upper. Now this one is only rumored to be 420 pairs in the world. And this one is pretty much more on the rare side of Nike SBs. And these are the pink joints, the pink rows in general. Now they never made this one in an adult size, only in toddler or smaller size that you do see here in my hand. But this one was a really hard one to come by and I knew I had to get it for the set. And I thought I was done, right? I really thought I was done. Which leads me to this sneaker pickup right here. Something very, very, very special. So again, Clint, I really appreciate it, my boy. Thank you so much for making this happen. Oh man, I'm super excited about this thing. This thing comes with the original Nike box. Now, although the box label is faded, it does say Baby Dunk in the 6C Jersey Gold slash Cascade Blue. You guys already know what it is. It's a DS pair from 2004. It is the toddler version of the Cascade Hems, which makes this the official, official, finally completed of the Nike Dunk SB in the hemp set. And I couldn't be more happy to officially have this set. Now, this is something that I've always wanted to complete for a very, very long time. This was my very first Nike SB, so you guys know how special and close this one is to my heart. I got this one first, followed by the blue pair, and the last, I ended up getting this pair. And I never thought I would actually end up getting the pink rose, the pink pair that you do see here. And I was like, all right, cool, I completed it. Now I do wanna go ahead and get the baby pair, the toddler, the baby blue pair that you do see here. And here they are. I'm so happy. This is something that I always just imagine like one day, just one day it would be so sick to finally just see this in my hand, in front of me, in front of my eyes, just right here. And as you guys can tell, I'm so happy that I finally had this. So thank you so much, Clint, my boy. You know who you are. I appreciate you so much for making this happen, man. I can't be more excited, can't be more happy that it's just right here in front of my eyes. So thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With the original box too and the tissue, oh man, just, ah, wow. And wrapping things up here, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you haven't, consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it a lot. Let me know down below in the comment section of what you guys think about all the pickup. Otherwise than that, much appreciated. Have a good day, evening, wherever you're at. And I'll see y'all in the next video. It's gonna be good. Yay!